I just woke up really really early and wanted to show you the sunrise so I'm walking I think he tried to eat the whole plant wrapped it in a cocoon who knows <laughs> Good morning everyone, I am Karolina, which is how I pronounce my name in Poland, but my name has different form depending on the country I'm currently in. I've heard people call me Carolina, Karolin, Karolinda, Karolina, <laughs> so <laughs> call me whatever, whatever is most suitable for you. Uh, anyways, today I want to talk about the kiteboarding gear and how to choose the most suitable kiteboarding gear for you. So let's get started. After finishing my freestyle world tour career, I changed my quiver and got way more variety. Before I used to have fuel kites only, which were perfect for a freestyle uh, progression and winning the events. Today my quiver is seven and nine meter fuel which is my top kite for freestyle in strong winds then i have eight meter sst kite that is my favorite kite for wave riding and hydrofoiling and i also have 12 meter rpm which is a perfect kite for lighter winds and has a pretty good hang time so when i want to hold the grabs a bit longer it's definitely gonna hold me in the air for extra uh, seconds and I used to have a 17 meter turbine in my quiver, but I replaced it with a hydrofoil. When it's 12 knots, I would rather go hydrofoiling. And today, this is my dream gear selection. If you are a beginner rider, you really want to go to a kite school, take your first classes and actually learn if you like this sport. And uh, also on the course, they're going to tell you how to choose the gear for you. We uh, choose kiteboarding gear specific to our weight, location that we want to kite, um, skills and the discipline that we want to follow. So definitely this is the place to start for you. If you are a more advanced rider and you've been riding for a while and you want to update your quiver, think about the location you're riding the most, think about the trips you're gonna do in future, Thing about the discipline you actually want to progress because you can buy kite that does all different things but there'll be always a one discipline that this kite is going to be dedicated for and it's going to perform much better for that particular purpose for example there is a slingshot SST kite that is amazing kite for wave riding pretty good kite for hydrofoiling and a good kite for jumps so if you want to learn some simple jumps it's going to be pretty good, but it's definitely not a high performance freestyle kite. So you definitely not going to win the freestyle world champion on that kite. So you really want to learn a lot about different features, about different products. So you actually know what's going on in kiteboarding industry and what options there are to make your riding better. And once you do this big research, it's a really good idea to go to one of the kiteboarding demos. Uh, there you can actually touch the kite and try it out, which is, I think, the best option there is. I feel that not enough people actually do that. Also, when you are there, it's a really good idea to check different kites and different boards and different brands. So you actually collect the knowledge about the gear. So once you test all these things, you know exactly what you want, you exactly know what you don't like, and it's gonna be much easier for you to choose the gear. If there isn't any demos in the area, cause you really, you live on a little island, <laughs> Uh, it's a really good idea to talk to local community and the gear they're using there and what they recommend for your specific uh, kite. I'm pretty sure the people who has been kiting for a couple of years will have a pretty good understanding of gear that you need for your specific needs. So definitely talk to those people and maybe they're gonna give you their kites to try it out too. Thanks to that you'll be able to choose your dream kite. 
Okay, this is the end of this vlog. I hope that I helped you figure it out how to choose the best kite for you. Just remember choosing proper gear for your skills and uh, desired discipline. It's very important for progression and enjoyment of this sport. So have that in mind and I'm gonna go to the beach and it's not really windy at the moment, but I'm bringing my kite gear just so just in case. Okay, let's go. We just got back from surfing and now we're gonna go kiteboarding. The wind is picking up, so yeah, let's do this. Super excited. unexpected session it was pretty sick now everything is salty sandy my face is burned happiness this is happiness 